What's up guys and welcome to Ukulele. It's finally out after a billion dollar Kickstarter and like a year of waiting, we can finally play the platformers, hopefully of my dreams, or at least my dreams of the last decade. I grew up with 3D platformers. You might know my favorite game of all time is Jack and Daxter. The first game I ever played was Crash Bandicoot and I love games like of course Ratchet and Clank and Banjo-Kazooie. So colorful, awesome, fun games to explore. It's my jam, especially if there's a lot of things to collect. So Ukulele looks amazing and it's made by the same people who made Banjo-Kazooie, so I'm super duper excited to play it, but of course, I wanna hear about you guys. Are you excited to see me play ukulele? If you are, make sure to give this video a like and of course, comment, let me know. But with that being said, I cannot hold my excitement anymore. I just have to play the game. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with ukulele. Oh boy, it's Shipwreck Creek, and there is scary music for it being quite colorful and welcoming. Ivory Tower, oh I get it, it's like Ivory Towers. Wait a minute, isn't that like main bad guy a bee? Uh oh, I think this is the bad guy's place. Ooh, oh there he is! And whoever that is, is that, is that a Robo Duck? Hello Robo Duck, he's super excited. What is going on here? And, Oh, yeah, that's right. A lot of reading in this series. Everything has been prepared to your specification, capital B. The workforce is now yours. I don't think I can speed up the text at all, so if it's super slow, I do apologize. Okay, that is a big old statue. Hmm, do you think this new statue is golden enough? Or too golden? Maybe a tad bit more gold would be good. Oh, it's um. Yeah, I can't speed up the text at all. Focus tested. These employees need someone to look up to. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, they are sort of short. Hold on. What is that? <laughs> Vice President. Oh gosh, I love that. That's the gun. Vice President statue, sir. Oh, the poor duck guy. I didn't sign off on that. Plus, it's casting an awkward shadow on the president's plinth. <laughs> it's a little too slow. Bin it. Of course, you're the boss now. Now? Who's the boss before? Now, are we ready to synergize your latest profit plumping technology? Dr. Quack, Dr. Quack, really? <laughs> yes, sir, I've prepared the Novelizer 64, my most ingenious invention. Okay, the Novelizer 64, can I play Super Mario 64? We can use it to steal all the dusty old books in the world and leave us the only player in the market. Oh my, but libraries are, th are free. It's not much of a market, an equally ruthless and dynamic strategy, Doctor. I like it. Prepare the device immediately. I want to be on World 4's golf course by lunchtime. There better be a World 4 golf course now. <laughs> like on World 4, there better be some golfing action. Yes, sir, right away, sir. <laughs> Wait, what is he? Oh, he's gonna press a big button. No, he missed. Why does the duck have to do everything? Like he's clearly disabled in some way, shape, or form. Oh no, they're stealing the letters out of the books too? Holy cow. Why well, compete with the libraries though? They're free to use. I mean, it's like who wants to pay for books when you can go to the library and get them for free? And quack, make sure you secure that special book. Oh, I'm sure that's the whole reason. There's a special book with some unspoken power. Okay, well, there go all the books. I guess I'll have to buy a Nook now. <laughs> oh gosh, maybe they own Nook and that's the whole plot. Oh, and over here, in this bright and colorful area, will we find some snoozing heroes? It looks like it. Oh, there they are, <laughs> taking a tan. Oh, look, there's a golden book there. Ah, this is the life. <laughs> ah, this is the life. I, I can't read it right if it goes so slow. I think this old shipwreck finally feels like home lately. <laughs> That'll be my vibrant paint job, Yukon. <laughs> I don't know like what kind of voices to give them, so if it takes me time, I do apologize. It's about time we renovated this place. Most of the rooms haven't been touched since we moved in. It's like they forget what they're saying halfway through because of how high I have to read it. So it's almost like they're talking like I do. Who knows what's hiding under those floorboards? Insects mainly. Delicious they were. Well, I guess they're not there anyway anymore. They were there. Oh, and some old book I've been using as a drinks coaster. Come on, it has golden pages, unless that's just the sun. Why would you use it as a drink coaster? You can sell it. Whoa, pirate treasure. I bet that's worth loads. It looks antique. Really? 
You reckon we should flog it? I'll split you 80-20 in my favor. Is there a ripoff? I thought we were friends. Well, it's it's flying away, guys. Hey, my problem book! It's being sucked away! Oh no, get it! Go! The pages, they're escaping. Oh, indeed they are. And they're golden! You're just now piecing that one together, huh? I think that book is a bit more special than you thought, Laylee. I'm glad I, I'm sort of trying to assume what they're going to say. <laughs> Quick, after it, it's worth even more now, it's fly, it's a flying book. Oh, look at us, we're moving! We're moving, this game is beautiful, look at it. Now, can I do anything? Look at Laylee, just sort of chilling out on his head. <laughs> I can lick, yum, 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 I'm Yoshi. All right, where are we going? Because it looks like there's a lot of ways to go. Oh, there's somebody. Hello, are you a snake? Oh, you're a snake with pants. Hello, snake with pants. Yeah, 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 All right, yeah, pals, yeah, yeah, lovely to yeah. see you. I don't know what voice to give this guy. Uh, hi there, I'm Yuka, and this is my buddy, Laylee. Oh, now I can skip the text. I guess when I'm in a cutscene, I can't. Do we know you? Yeah. Of course, it's me, Trousin, the honest and dex dexterous salesman. <laughs> yeah, I remember, you're the crook who sold us that dodgy flat screen. <laughs> nope, not me, you're surely mistaken, friend. Hey, Trouser, did you happen to see a magical flying book go through here? For five quills, I did. Oh, he's that kind of guy. He's like money bags from Spyro. There are now in this, wait, something about the books business has kicked off. Oh, I see, the quills are in demand. Perhaps you can find enough of those treasure chests lying around. I already tried, <laughs> hold on, I'm on a phone call. <laughs> I already tried lockpicking those while Yuko was asleep. No chance. Ah, to unlock them, you'll need one of my trademark special moves. By using X, our green friend here can perform the tail twirl attack. It's smashing. Press X to attack, got it. Excellent, now go whack those treasure chests and bring me my five quills. Okay. Okay, just like that, no problem. Also, before anybody freaks out, wait, okay. I'm a quill, one of 200 on each world. Collect us to purchase new moves. Okay, I'll do that. I saw a chest, I think, back there, right? It looks like there's a chest over there, yeah. So we'll try to get five quills, or whatever quills are in this area, because if we press pause, we can go to view totals, and then you can see one thing, how many totals are in this area, which is Hyvory Towers, I guess. There's 10 we can find, so let's try to find all 10. But for right now, we're going down this way. But yeah, one thing is, like I said, my favorite game of all time is Jack and Daxter. And when I re- whoa, 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 okay. Hold on, ooh, look at this. And this is what I was about to talk about. In Jack and Daxter, one thing that's big about the control set is that you can use it to sort of combo up your move to get to places you didn't think you could get to. And it has a really solid set of controls, and I think that's one of the keys to a good platformer. So I hope beyond anything that this game has some good control. So far, it feels like it does. And I really like the fact that we can like do this sort of like, speed boost by jumping and then punching. Like, that seems pretty good. So let's go over here and get this one. Boom, and this should be our fifth one. Oh, hey. Ah, yes, that seems to be enough to jog my memory. Come back here. Oh, give me a second, I got more to explore. Okay, so there's a chest over here, but a boom. Got the quill, six out of 10. I'm pretty sure we could get all 10 of them then. And what are you, oh, you're a butterfly. Mmm, I'm a tasty butterfly energy. Be nice and collect me to refill your power barn. Okay, I don't have a power bar, but maybe at some point I'll get one. In the meantime, here's another quill. Seven out of 10. What is this? Oh, it's like a little flower area. Oh, that's nice, I like that. So it looks like there's we can even go on top of this ship over here. I'm trying to be thorough because I don't like backtracking too much if I don't have to. Like, I mean, I'm guessing that I'm gonna have to because with how these, these games are. I'm guessing I can't like, if this is like Banjo-Kazooie, I probably can't get up that slope, but I'm guessing it leads somewhere up there. I'm not really sure. Maybe there won't be anything up there for us to need. There's more butterflies. I'm not reading that sign. <laughs> okay, so there's no, oh, there's the last one. Okay, so we almost got all 10. This is actually really good progress. I'm gonna focus on trying to get as many quills as I can, because I'm guessing they're sort of like the music notes out of Banjo-Kazooie, which will be good to keep in mind. There's 10 of them, and oh, you have eyeballs, which means I can talk to you, hello. Hey, Blasto, how are you feeling today? <laughs> Not so good, my throat hurts, and I've almost totally lost my voice. Ah, maybe because you had a bird in there. That'll be, be last night's karaoke, your performance blew us all away. 
<laughs> I'm not so sure. I, I think someone hurled a yellow newspaper in the, the, this way, and I accidentally inhaled it. So one of the golden pages. I thought it maybe was the bird, but okay. <laughs> I wish there was a hard-hitting cure that could pound me back into shape. And does that not work? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I don't have the move to help you. But I got all 10 quills, so that's all I'm worried about. We have twice as many quills as we need to talk to Snake Dude over here again and sort of figure out what we want to do. But this game is so pretty so far, I can't get over it. All the lush green and all the red and yellow is too, like all the colors mashed together well. All right, hello, how you doing? <laughs> Go on then, Lispy, spill the beans. Where's our book? Yeah. Your book is headed towards the business beyond this gate. Yeah. Strange things going on in there since the takeover by Hivery Towers Corp. Okay. Yeah. I'm headed there myself to sell someone some moves. Allow me to raise the gate. <laughs> Hold on, I have a phone call. No, this is not Bill. Leave me alone, stop calling here. Come on, Yuka, let's get that book before the trouser, before trousers realizes we didn't give him those quills he found. Oh. <laughs> we did it, I like it. Let's get out of here. So do I go up here? Oh, I almost could. But I don't think I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to go around this way. Uh, to get across, oh, um, okay. Pressing A again while in the air will perform a double jump. Oh, so we're getting tutorials now, okay. Um, what do I do here? We'll need to crouch with LT to get beyond this big sign. And before anybody freaks out, I'm playing on Steam PC, I'm not playing on Xbox. A tutorial classic we'd best stand close to, to the sign. <laughs> oh, I get it. I like how they're tutorializing it themselves. They don't need no goggles or anything. In the water, we can use L to swim. <laughs> He's just self-narrating. Yeah, yeah, and A to rise, and LT or X to descend. We've all re read the manual. Or have we? <laughs> I have not. Let's see, we'd better watch the air meter, though we don't want, okay, we know, we know, we know, don't worry. But I don't have anything against Xbox, it's just whenever I play on Steam and you see the Xbox controller, people freak out on me, I don't get it. What are those blue things, Aaron? They look like, they look even shiftier than trouser. Maybe they're lost? I doubt it. If I were us, and I'm 50% of us, then I'd attack him with an axe. Unlike those soft shooters, our heal bar won't auto refill. Hmm, you're right, but if they do attack us, I can always eat a nearby butterfly by pressing B to regain some health. So I can eat them and pick them up. Okay, I don't understand the difference, but yup. <laughs> there we go. Hmm, I'm a tasty butterfly, I know, you already told me about this stuff. Bada boom, get out of here. All right, so I guess I can eat them to regain health and then pick them up to regain a power bar? I have no idea what a power bar is, but... Uh-oh, we're being watched by the duck. No trespassing, this is private property. I'm trying to like nail down like unique voices for all of them, but I'm not the best voice actor. Hello, we're searching for a missing book. It looked like it went this way. <laughs> Your book belongs to us now as will most of the world supply before long. <laughs> Evil laugh. That's a weird business plan. Are you opening a bookmobile? <laughs> Actually, it's just one book in particular we're interested in. Now, scram before I call security. Okay, there's something not right about this place, Laylee. We should <laughs> investigate. Why does it take you so long to talk, Yuka? I am thinking, and the speech bubbles go slow, and the text is large. Okay, so we just walked in. <laughs> about, so, about that security. Oh, and we're in the Hivery Towers now. How'd you get in here already? Hey, friends, over here. I feel like I've gotten, you know, Trouser's voice down a little bit. That's good. He's wearing pants though, and I love that so much. Lovely to see you again, pals. I see you've got up the speed with your basic moves. Yuki gave himself a short tutorial on the way in. Hold on, I have another phone call. Leave me alone, sir. You're dialing up my minutes. Smashing, time to put those skills to work. I've spotted a piece of your book. What? Um, oh, it's up there. <laughs> Look at it go, oh, it's so happy. He's like, yeah, I'm a page. Why don't you go ahead and collect it and find out what's going on? I'd go myself, but I've got an important call coming up with the World One boss. Uh-oh, he's after one of my super, hold on, another phone call. <laughs> one of my super moves. Yeah, right. 
Okay, so we get to climb. Oh, look, the duck statue's still there. Hooray, I'm glad. Oh, so we gotta climb. It's telling us where to climb. I mean, I sort of understand. You're not to give me the whole trail up. So we gotta collect, I'm guessing these things are like the jiggies from Banjo-Kazooie. So we have already the music notes and the jiggies, our main collectibles in the game. So that's pretty darn good. We're gonna need music notes to probably progress into unlock areas, but we can't go in those areas unless we have these pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that now. But also let's check out the duck statue. Can I destroy it? No, I can't. It's bigger than I am. It's still a pretty big statue. I mean, compared to us. And I don't think there's any other secrets that are gonna be hidden around here. Like, what is this? Oh, this is locked off, look at that. I wonder how I get in there. So I like that kind of stuff. It's like, it's fun to see this, you know, stuff that you have to explore, but I'm guessing I'll have to backtrack, which I'm not a big fan of just because it makes videos harder to construct in a way that makes sense for a viewing experience, but I'll get over it, don't worry. All right, let's get up here. I mean, I'm really not sure if I wanna play this game blind or not yet. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comment section below, would you like to see this game purely blind? Would you like it to be more of a walkthrough? But here is page number one. Oh boy. Oh, hey, you gonna talk to us? Hello there, who might you be? I'm a pagey, I live inside the all powerful one book. The one book? How much is one of those worth? The One Book is incredibly powerful and has been stolen by the evil Capital B. I'm going to be explaining the plot disposition to you. If Capital B unlocks the power within, his crooked company will have the power to rewrite the universe. Luckily, us pages have fled the One Book and gone into hiding. Without pages, the One Book is just an empty shell. If you use them, me to unlock one of the grand tomes in this factory, we can transport to another world and be and search for more of my friends. So this high factory or Hivery Towers is sort of like um, Grunty's castle, right? That's her name, Grunty. Let's find one of those and tomes and search for more pages. Okay, so we got our first pagey. I like that better than page. Hey pals, I believe I can assist you on your quest. Why don't you come and see me for the hold on phone call? The details. <laughs> he has such an old school like 90s phone too, I love it. All right, let's go ahead and kick. There we go. Hello, sir. Say, you two chaps need to explore those grand tomes and I'm looking to expand my business to new locations. How about we make a deal? For every grand tome you unlock, I'll help your quest with a new move, free of charge. Ooh, okay. That sounds like a good deal, Trouser, we're in. Super, your first complimentary move is one of my trademark abilities. Ooh. If you hold down RT, you'll get the grip and you need to roll up slippery ramps. There's one note in the small print, pals. The longer you use this move, the more you'll drain your power bar, so roll wisely. Okay, so here's where we're gonna get our power bar. Instead of eating butterflies, you can collect them to refill your power bar. Okay, so there's this ramp up here we can roll up, and there were ramps back at the main area, and I don't know if we should worry about those yet. Why don't you try a new trouser patented maneuver on that nearby slippery ramp? Okay. And there seems to be, ooh, it's gonna be a jungle level for the first one. I like it, very cool. So we gotta get all the way up here. And it looks like we just passed a pagey that we'll definitely talk to, but there was another area to go. If we went back up to where we were climbing the golden statue, there was another slope. So let me go ahead and check out that one. Maybe we can find our first cool secret, that would be nice. So I don't think I'll be going back to the main starting area. Of course, that tutorial area that we just started in. I don't think we'll be going back there just yet because I wanna be able to have the move that's going to make, um, how do I do this? Oh, like this. Yeah, darn it, no wait, 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 I'm not ready. Here, there you go. So what is this about? There's a closed door and there's a button. Oh, I can't press the button because I don't have like no kind of button slam. So I'm definitely gonna look around for like some kind of button slam ability before I go ahead and go back because I think that's what I'll need to go ahead and do that cannonball guy. What's going on here? Look lately, a pagey and a cagey, amazing. Hello pagey, how you doing? Help, capital B's corp, corpulent? Corpulent minions locked me in this metal prison. These pamphlets sure are pushy. Come on then, tell us where the key is. There is no key. Cages are unlocked by solving nearby puzzles, but you've not yet learned the correct move to help me. 
Okay, Pagey, we'll come back for you later. All right then, Pagey, sit tight. So, oh, I guess, I guess it's this, because this looks like it's spelling out Pagey. I wonder what I have to do to, to make this spell Pagey? Like maybe I can light them on fire? They sort of look like torches? And then what is this? There's a little uh, thing. Bada boom! Oh, I can't move this, okay. <laughs> there seems like there's so much to do that I can't quite do yet, which is, you know, cool in one sense, but also like daunting in another. All right then. Hey, you made it to the first Grand Tome. The Grand Tomes are magical gateways to new worlds. Hivery Tower seems to have captured many, but only pages can unlock them for you. Stand on the switch, and if you have collected enough pages, we can unlock it for you. <laughs> yeah, Yen, go inside and rescue more of you, right? <laughs> That's right, once inside, don't forget to find Trouser. It sounds like those moves he sells will help you out on your adventure. Okay, will do. But I think that's where we're gonna be finishing it up for today on the first episode of Ukulele. In the next episode, we'll definitely hop into our first home and adventure our first world. But I hope you guys enjoyed this taste of Ukulele. If you did, of course, let me know in the comment section that you wanna see more, because I definitely wanna play more. I'm still deciding if I wanna 100% this game because of the fact that it's apparently like 20 to 30 hours long to 100%. So it'll depend on the support and the interest in everything and how much fun I'm having throughout that time. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Ukulele. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Book so I know you've watched it in the video and you are a Zebra Task viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.